Well, whoa, that, that was low. Too bad, we're not redoing this. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, as my mic fell, apparently, to Theodoric the Great. Uh, last time we did the Walls of Constantinople, which was a pretty cool mission, also a pretty long mission. Uh, now it looks like we're going to be heading towards Italy in Null, Null Rivals' uh, new enemies. Oh boy, this is going so well. And this appears to be the very next year. Okay, as I said, even backed into a corner, Zeno was a shrewd political oper operator. He now eagerly consented to let us leave his empire, and he showered our bedraggled army with food, gold, weapons, and horses. Our agreement was this. We would capture Italy for the emperor, and as long as you ruled in his name, the Roman Empire would exist with the Goths evermore. I knew there was no change in Zeno's sentiments. We were just a weapon in the emperor's hands, uh, as he used one enemy to destroy another, but the emperor knew that he was too weak to defeat us, and I cared little for titles. To me, a formal vassalage was a small price to pay for my own homeland, or for our own homeland. Why does this thing keep on falling? Oh my goodness. But obtaining that homeland would still be a mighty test, for Italy already had a ruler. Odysseur, slayer of empires, ended 700 years of Roman rule in Italy, where he deposed the boy Emperor Romulus Augustulus. He now ruled Italy as its king. Odysseur uh, fielded a vast army of barbarians from across Europe. Skiri, Hiruli, Rugi, Vandals, Frisians, Franks, and even Goths. But uh, Odoacer uh, himself was a Hun, whose father had fought as a lieutenant of Attila, and he ruled in the Hunnic way. Rumors of his brutality spread even to the remotest Roman village. But even Attila was not invincible, and I knew this slayer of empires was not invincible either. But before we could bring him to battle, we had to reach him. Since ancient times, Dalmatia has been a hotbed for raiders, uh, hill tribes, and invaders, and for every one of them, a Gothic army has loaded down with gold and civilians. Yeah. Okay. We are retightening the screw on this mic because it keeps on falling. All right, I think we're good. Hey, it's Theodoric, messenger. Uh, Odoacer has heard about your feat of strength outside Constantinople and would like to propose an alliance. Join him and together you can build a new kingdom or something. Go back to your master dog. I know how this story ends. My people have survived enough betrayals. I will not lead them into another. Very well, I would inform Odoacer of your decision, but when your people lie slain before you, remember that you chose your own destiny. We've occupied a Roman city for you, Theodoric. Ready? Yeah, we have to protect us. Okay. Uh, break the Odoacer blockade. Ostrogoths must not be defeated. Upgrade Theodoric by using him in battle. Okay. There he is. There's the blockade. Oh, here are the Ostrogoths. Here I am. Here is this village that I apparently control. I cannot build villagers. Okay. Uh, 210 can advance to the Imperial Age. In order to maximize his speed and striking power, Theodoric has divided the military and civilian contingents of the Ostrogoths. Uh, your allies will supply you with, uh, resources and villagers, uh, but you cannot build new villagers of your own. Okay, that's like that one scenario from, uh, Charles Martel. Uh, Odoacer holds several Roman villages near his lands, capture them, and collect additional tribute. Don't break Odoacer's blockade until you've finished dealing with your other enemies in the area. The Ostrogoths can't safely move on to Italy until, unless their rear is secure. Keep an eye on your uh, allies. Uh, they are virtually undefended and will need your help to survive. One of your enemies uses custom... Aww. Aww. Got the uh, Croats from Tomislav. Uh, that Jacqueline made. That works for uh, Effie. That's great. Theodoric has made peace with Zeno and now marches uh, into Illyria. Um, those people are not warriors, then okay. Uh, in Illyria is Odoacer, the barbarian king of Italy, uh, scattered across the map. Filled with tribes. Uh, Sarmatians, ah yes, they are in the east. They are badly mauled from their previous encounters with Theodoric and may be vulnerable to an early attack. Okay, so let's attack them early. The Gepids are a tribe of allies allied... Yeah, they are fierce warriors with a strong army and well-fortified camp. They will likely be your most dangerous enemy, but are less aggressive than other foes. Okay, and the Dalmatians uh, are new arrivals in the area, forerunners of what will be the later. Okay, so they got... Oh, the Jupons are back! 
Oh no! Uh, my chief several Roman villagers, uh, they have no reason to love us, but they have every reason to hate Odoasser. Okie dokie. Let's just kind of get our stuff together, shall we? A trade workshop. Oh wait, we can build, um, trade carts. Aha! Oh, crap. Well, first, first we need them to build a market. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Dalmatians. It it shows up as Portuguese, but they're they're actually the uh, Croats. Not entirely sure what exactly I want to do. We already have anarchy. Uh, let's just get a scout going. We need to be extra careful with uh, our stuff. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Let's just figure out what's going on. Oh, why did I not build the mill over here? Whatever. Let's see what's going down. Okay, there's one of the villages. So this is just peaceful area. I'm gonna want that stuff eventually, no doubt. It's another scout, actually. Not so fast, Theodoric. We just arrived in these lands and we're no no hurry to share them. We'll drive you out of Dalmatia. Agreed. We might have joined you, Theodoric, but Odwasser has offered ten siliqua for every Ostrogoth ear we deliver him and ten thousand solidi for the men who delivers your head. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, here are the Dalmatians. Aw, oh, the Jupons are back. Yeah, let's just uh, do that. Oh, wait, no, let's go uh, take these sheepers. Uh, let's see how well defended these guys are. Oh, God. Oh, and those are full upgrades. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me, ally? Supposed ally? You want to, like, not lame me? Just, like, radical idea. Alrighty. I guess there's another barracks over here. Just make some infantry, why not? Okay, the Gepids are Franks. Oh yeah, those are the Sarmatians. Oh my god, look at all of the stuff that these guys have. Well, I mean, I guess they are our economy. Kind of want them to boom. But let's see if they... Wait, they need a market, right? To tribute us resources. Unless they do it via trigger. Jerks. You know what? Be brave, be bold. We're gonna give this the old college try. I mean, yeah, they're like fully upgraded elite Tarkins and stuff. I mean, they're they're just fully upgraded Hunnic units. Oh, we do get more villagers. Where are they coming from? Oh, over here. I will take it. And gladly. I mean, yeah, it's so like... There's only so many of them, so once we uh, take them down, not a whole lot for them to do. Oh, yeah, forgot about it. 
uh, Theodoric. Such is life. Uh, we will have to take down this keep, but, I mean, it's a hunted keep that doesn't even have the right architecture set. And also, Huns don't get keeps or guard towers. It's all a lie. Now, can we build castles? Yes, we can. We can build, I guess, everything except town centers. But yeah, definitely need to keep up with our... Uh, liberating the towns and stuff. Ooh, relic. Awesome. Should we just wood? Okay. That's another one, and I guess that's... That's the blockade. Oh, and there's the other one. Okay. Um, a shipment of resources. That's great and stuff. These guys have a market. These guys don't have a market. Anyway, let's just go ahead and, um... Well, we need to keep building up our forces. Can't hit advance to MP yet. We'd have nothing to do with it. Okay, there's yellow. Ooh, another relic. Yeah, let's definitely make sure we're scouting. I mean, we need to get every little bit of income we can. Not a better lumber camp. Over here. See what's over that way. I mean, like, yeah, we're only at 49 pop. Wait a minute. Trade cart. Market. Oh. Okay, new new plan, new plan. We are going to need to find a good spot to place a market to maximize our trade. Actually, these guys have a pretty decent army. They have a larger army than we do. What the hell? So if the market's here, I mean, it's not a great location. But if we wanted to maximize it... Well, let's keep going uh, west and see what... Like, I don't think any of them were to the west, right? Oh, wait, no, maybe the, that's where the Dalmatians are. This seems like a good spot, though. Okay, let's go to the next town. We've got Woad Raiders. Hunnic Woad Raiders. The scariest of them all. Okay, that's more... Well, yeah, yeah, the Dalmatians are over here, duh. But this seems relatively safe. Aw, oh, you get them. And another relic. Where's my Munker? Where are you at, Home Slice? Oh, that's a sheep. Whoa! Yeah, we can take him. For the water effort. Okay, maybe we can't take them. Maybe that was a little optimistic. Just gonna go ahead and put a castle here, just to make sure our allies are safe. Let's 
start trading. Wait, what am I doing? Let's build a castle in front of the market, shall we? I'm a smart cookie. Go to the other side or something. I don't know. God damn it. Like, we're just so far away from, like, our potential, right? No. Uh, oh yes, the wood tribute. Awesome. We are going to, I guess not take their stone so they can take it. Be good allies. You know, as a figure of relative influence among my viewers, I need to set an example and not steal my allies' resources. What are we getting? 52 gold. Eh. Could be worse, could be better. At least they're, uh, more gold than their cost. Of course, that doesn't factor in, like, their wood cost, but hey, you know, small steps. I can at least get a bustling economy. Is there, like, something over here? Something, something? Whoa, that thing's spazzing out. Oh, the Dalmatians have the highest score. Oh, oh is there something special? No. Whoops. Ooh, those are your fully appeared champions. Crap, now I'm trying to remember the Croat tech tree. <laughs> Holy bananas. Oh my god. Yep, those are Zupons. Oh god. I am literally building in my own trade route. I am so dumb. Oh no. Okay, well, hold on. No, no, you go back to the market. That little piggy goes back to market. Okay, now we kind of just need him because we are just outgunned at every opportunity. Oh, no. Well, our... Oh, I can't replace these villagers. I thought I destroyed you. Croats, I remember, they had the Paladins that had full upgrades except for uh, plus four defense. Why are you... Oh my god. Hold up. Oh my god, we are so dead. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just gonna do that. Okay, this is quite the scenario.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go back to the shadows. Maybe instead of the villages, we need to just, like, go after one of our enemies, because the Sarmatians... I guess the Gepids don't attack us, but the Dalmatians and Sarmatians. Yeah, all the Asians. Do we advance to Imp right away? No, that can't be right. Do a little monastery, though. Yeah, these guys, like, they don't even have a very high score. Let's make a beeline for the Sarmatians, because they, they said in, like, the hints and stuff that they were uh, on the weaker side. You know, learning and stuff. Are you? Just don't, don't. All right, let's just get going. They have castle. Do they have murder holes? A better question. No? It's a no on the murder holes? Oh, that's how you do it, guys. That is how it is done. And stuff. Start getting our relics now. Level up, <laughs> yeah, Theodoric hasn't died yet. It's always something to uh, be joyous about. Not so fast, Theodoric. Sheeper, sheeper. Give me the sheepers. Avenge our fallen brothers. Get out of here. I right, got a couple town centers. We can take them. Oh, and they have so many resources. Gimme, gimme. Get out of here, you clowns. I bet the Sarmatians are arena players. That's how clowny they are. As is usual in campaigns, it turns out being proactive is a good play. Level up. Good, 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 get out of here. The Sarmatians have been crushed for the last time. Their leaders are slain and their tribes are scattered. Let them va vanish into the ash heap of his history. It's pretty freaking brutal, man. I'll send them to my allies.
Okay, actually, um, what we're gonna do is, since most of our army's over here already, uh, let's go take down that village. And let's start saving for the Imperial Age. If I was getting, like, chain party arm, I don't know. I'm dumb. Yeah, we got 5, 10 HP, 19 attack. For the water foot. Appearing literally out of nowhere. We're going to build another castle right over here to defend the market. Oh, we can take him. Okay, now I just need to defeat these elite Konics. I thought they were Tarkins. All right, Theodore, get out of there. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. What's my other unit? I have Theodoric and one other military unit. Go chop some trees. Oh, it's the monk. Of course it's the monk. Let's see if we can sneak by. Okay, click up to the Imperial Age. And I did see them start to create a market. Or build a market. You don't really create markets. You build them. It's not like you mowed the market out of clay. Thread the needle here. Yeah, those elite Konex are going to be annoying. Let's gather from the faster food source. Yeah, I think it was really smart that we took down the Sarmatians early. But are you guys in it? No, oh, they're in Castellays. They just have Ill illegal halves. That's cool. Y'all. Yeah. I'd like to get some more barracks as well. Yeah, you guys go get him. Awesome. Monk, you have threaded the needle. Now get back to the monastery. I guess we'll get Blast Furnace. Yeah, I didn't really think that through, did I? But hey, I'll have Blast Furnace. That's something. Are you guys trading with the bad guys? I guess they're just trading with the Roman villages. I guess I can allow that. Can't even afford caravan. Oh yeah, I guess I also get a bit more of an infantry discount. I guess just start sending those guys over. I 
got another relic somewhere. Where was that guy? Thank goodness. Alrighty. That is much more like it. Take the boar. Fifty gold. Uh, could be the end, or could be worse. And unlike an AOE four, I can use this market to, you know, have the gather points set at this market, and the trade cart will automatically go all the way to this market, which is the furthest market. Because for some reason we can have that in AOE two, but not in AOE four. Go get him. Go get him. Yeah. Go get him. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Man, dismounted Koenigs are so sad. They're such, they're such a sad unit. They have a very slow attack speed. They only have zero one armor. I really should be getting Caravan. It's kind of, one of like literally one of the best economic upgrades in the game, if not the best. Like, you know, in the situations it applies. Yeah, gold. Okay, let's go meet at the crossroads here. Okay, it's a cat scientist map. Happy Forge bushes somewhere. Oh my god. Yes to the please. Wait, I can trade with these guys. Uh, it seems really dangerous. <laughs> I mean, these guys are like right over here. And yet again, so are these guys. I don't know, maybe once I take the southern area we can do like a cross trading thing. Alright, alright guys. Just migrate over there for a little bit. Freaking jupons! Yeah, you go get him, ally. You do you, boo. 
Oh my god, I'm getting slaughtered. Oh my god, I don't stand a chance. Cool. Alrighty. Well, that didn't go so well. Are you seriously stuck, dude? Pro uh, map design tip, guys. If you don't want units to get stuck as soon as they're spawned when you're, like, making a, a base, just fill the edges of your base with trees. Like this. It'll look pretty. And uh, it'll prevent units from getting immediately trapped when they're uh, created. At least you guys aren't dying. That's an improvement. A definite one at that. Alrighty. Just start farming. Just need to get our army numbers up and going. We cannot build trebuchets. I don't know why I literally did not notice that until right now. Okay, so now that we have more resources, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go after the village to the south, as the uh, Cyan player seems to have stopped attacking us for the time being. Have our gather point right in our trade route, so it's super hard to select our army. Great play by me. Alrighty. I think we're going to be looking much, much better now. Roman gold. Is there... There is no such metal that shines as sweetly. Or something. Yeah, so I'm thinking we go down this way, and then we start trading all the way over there. Should maximize our gold income. Also, I should probably start investing in rams. Gimme, gimme, gimme. All right, right around here. Get you, random cows.
Oh, we get seed drams. Okay. Now we do have to do the rather awkward thing, which is uh, retask everybody down that way. Now we're starting to get a little something something of an economy. Oh, oh, you got this, ally. You got this. Uh, what am I doing? Task coming over that way. And we get Siege Engineers again. Oh, are they going to have bonds? Are they going to try and bond me from their server? With their extra castle arrows? Oh, you better be kidding me. Random farms everywhere. Oh god. Man, turns out Goths versus Croats is a terrible matchup. Alright, how are we doing over here? 94, almost doubling. Great. Oh boy. Please, like, deal with that and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Help! Dalmatians are attacking our trade routes. Okay, the Ostrogoths are now in the Imperial Age. That's good stuff. Really should be using the market more. Let's rebuild these workshops. There we go. I really should get some more barracks too. All right, now we're back in business. So I don't think we need to go for yellow. Like, there's no point. Can you just, like, deal with these guys? They're, they're really annoying. How's this going? Going splendidly. And by splendidly, I mean horribly. Yeah. 
the reason I'm making Huskarls is to help out with building fire. Or, you know, enemy arrow building stuff. You get the idea. Make more castles. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Shit. Man, this is a very strong army composition against a Civ that has awful archers. Please tell me those are not allied trebuchets. Oh, shit. Okay. Take that. Okay, now our population is really starting to increase, though. Go get him. All oh, these bastards do have bonds. And I'm pretty sure their other their castle age unique tech was essentially schlock to privileges. Make their knights cheaper. Onward and upward. Don't you dare repair those. the rest of my army. Nobody imminently dying? Good. Oh wait, it's a main objective to defeat two of the three tribal enemies. Ah. Oh, there's a relic. Oh my god. Let's go nab you. Yeah. 
Oh, whoa, 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 awesome. Yeah, I actually just have to defeat these guys. Hopefully you guys are kind of doing all right. Kinda, sort of, doing all right. Ideally, we defeat the Dalmatian, we at least take the heat off of the Ostrogoths, and then we go after Odwasser. Castle, no more jupons. We'll save another castle, which would make me sad. There we go, boys and girls. There we go. No wonder it was going so well. Okay, okay, time to bail out our allies. Just ignore the monk, will ya? Because, yeah, we're leveling their base. I need a monk. Where are you at? I swear there is a relic somewhere. Right over here. Am I blind? Did I get the relic? No, I only have two. Oh, here it is. Let's get you. I feel like a Hoodawasser is just going to be like a joke. camp over here, aren't they?
Always could use more vills to pay the bills. Oh, there's another relic over there. Just got relics for days. I never got Siege Engineers, I just realized. I'm smart. Oh my god, they have another castle. Are you trapping my infantry? What the hell, dude? Yeah, you guys are doing just fine. All right, now I think we're getting them. And that actually gets us really close to Odawasser. Maybe they resigned, maybe? Yeah, you've beaten us today, but our spirits will never break. Retreat to the hills, everyone. Yeah, go finish off that village just to get the objective. Oh my god, this is just a joke. Ooh, yeah, that's a big army. Okay, maybe it's not completely... Okay. All right. I get it, I get it. <laughs> You guys doing okay? Not that well. Yay, the village will support us with tributes of food. No, don't care about the mill of the defeated player. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're breaking them. There we go. I like how there's this castle and then one watchtower. <laughs> That was a tough one. That was definitely the hardest one so far. We have breached Odawasser's blockade. The way to Italy is open. And of course, you didn't get the video below the one hour mark. Feels Ornlu, man. Well, well, Theodoric. If you want to be a dog of the Romans, then so be it. But I have no intention of letting that wretch Zeno take my kingdom away from me. I will face you myself on the battlefield soon enough. Be ready. The Ostrogothic Passage left Dalmatia littered with the blood and bones of Gepid, Dalmatians, and many other tribes that tried to halt the warriors' advance. The, Sa the Sarmatian the cavalry, so used to easy victories on the plains, were helpless when they chased us into the forests and ran into the wall of Gothic spears. Their once legendary horde was left broken. Never again would they menace civilized people. 
For generations, Roman parents have frightened their children with the stories of Hannibal, Alaric, and Attila. Now it was Theodoric and his mighty Ostrogoth that had the people that tell the tales of. And soon the legends would grow, for the next enemy in our path was Odoacer, the Slayer of Empires. Dun dun dun. Great KD. Yeah, those Dalmatians, man. That was rough. Yeah, it was tricky for sure. Just, uh, you know, the Dalmatian coast. So let's see what Yellow had. Oh, yeah, Yellow had a big ol' scary base. Big ol' scary base. But it's like, definitely you want to go up to green and then you can sort of take the path up through over here or the path west through over here like I did. Whatever floats your boat. And that was old rivals, new enemies, and next will be true goth and true Roman. See you guys next time for that one.